What? These PS3s are brand new. $4,500 on this one. $1,000 skeleton. Just stuff you don't see anywhere else. <laughs> I got a $30,000 car too. I'm going to carry one. <laughs> what? <laughs> all right, here we go. And in this video, I'm going to tell you how I'm giving away all three of these systems right here. Stick around. What's up guys, welcome to Pokemon Pursuit. My name is Chase. This is the series that we started in the pursuit of all things Pokemon. So games, cards, collectibles, everything. We left off last episode with $681 in profits. We're only using profits from stuff that we're selling that we find that day. This was on Iconic Mystery Boxes, not sponsored or anything, but I saw this. It's guaranteed with a Wizards of the Coast pack. I wanna collect every one, I don't have any. This was $424 out the door. It also comes with a vintage PSA card. So you get the pack and the PSA card. Obviously this is a crazy mystery box, very expensive. But we had the funds. I, I had my eye on this. I was just waiting to get the funds to be able to do it. Let's see what we get. This is a great way to start the episode. Hit that like button. I'm sure we have quite the journey in store after this opening, but this is a great way to start. Let's see what we get. Ready, Elko? I'm ready. All right. We're gonna start with the card. Okay. Coming out backwards. I gotta guess the grade on it. Definitely not a 10. Some whiting on the edges. I would guess that it's like a seven or eight. Let's see what it is. I don't know if I'm covering it or not. Oh, it's a Mr. Mime. <laughs> and it's a seven. That's probably like worst case scenario <laughs> right there. Cause it's guaranteed a vintage uh, hollow. But now we're hoping the pack. One in five, our first edition. It's Jungle First Edition. That hey. is awesome. Let's go. Jungle First Edition pack right there. So the first edition stamp, bada bing, bada boom. I think that makes this a pretty like, we might have like broken even on the cost, but that's a great pack. And that is absolutely going on the shelf. All right, let's get to the hunt. But before we go to the next store, I'm gonna tell you how I'm giving away brand new PS5, the God of War Ragnarok PS5. Xbox Series X brand new and the Pokemon OLED Switch. So this is sponsored by Whatnot and that is how we're gonna be giving away all three of these systems on December 16th in the evening. So 5 p.m. Eastern we're starting. We're gonna go until about midnight Eastern. Gonna have the biggest auction we've ever done. If you've ever been to one of our auctions, you know we've done some crazy ones. And we're gonna try to beat every record we've ever had. Uh, all these great games are going to be there. There's some crazy, crazy stuff in here. Donkey Kong Country 2, Sealed for SNES, Spider-Man N64, NBA Action 98. Uh, that's Kobe's rookie cover for a game. A uh, first print of Breath of the Wild, Return of the Jedi for SNES, Home Alone 2 for SNES. All these, there's going to be more in that bin. We're going to have dozens of like super high-end consoles, box consoles, stuff like that. It's gonna be the craziest auction we've ever done. We're trying to do $30,000 in sales in one night. There's gonna be like a thousand buy it nows. So many great deals all happening in one night. And yes, all three of these we're giving away during that stream. So make sure to check out our whatnot link below. This is the time to do it, guys. This is the craziest thing we've ever done. Get your $10 credit that you can use in the buy it now section or wherever on our auction and come hang out with us. You gotta do it. You're not gonna regret it. And to celebrate moving in to the new studio, we're still getting fully set up, but on the 16th, we're gonna be there and you guys are gonna see the full, full setup on whatnot for the first time. Uh, I'm gonna be giving away an additional 100 games. So all three of those consoles plus 100 games all that night. So you gotta come hang out. We might even be selling some high-end items, some items from the Pokemon Pursuit. So if you wanna help support the Pursuit, in addition to all the games, 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 you gotta come hang out with us, guys. It's gonna be nuts. But now, let's go to the next store. My first stop was the Disc Traders that I normally don't have very much luck at. But to my surprise, it actually looked like there was some interesting inventory priced pretty well. I've got about $200 to work with in the Pokebank, plus whatever profit we find. So we very well could get some nice stuff. Well, these are gonna be winners, I think. RPG guides for five bucks. Man, Resident Evil Director's Cut could be good. Ooh, they got a Pokedex. Yeah, I might need that one. I'm gonna start scanning. The music was blaring in there, but over in the strategy guide section, there were a lot of solid finds. And another one. Somebody must have brought a collection of RPG guides. 
Right, picking up a couple sealed games as well. Not too bad. Find some nice sealed games. Like I said, normally I don't have much luck at this game store, but the employees were very nice and brought out a lot of stuff, including more sealed games. We actually had a friend with us today, and since game stores usually don't allow you to buy more than one of the same item, I was glad he'd be able to get some deals too. It might be a sealed yeah. PS3 Slim there. That Assassin's Creed one. And then I'm wondering if the PS4 Pros are sealed as well. Those are priced a little high, but the Slim at 150 would be a good seal. So these come with everything that is advertised. Mm -hmm. Don't know if this works, but yeah. it does come with everything. It's pretty uncommon to find older systems sealed in their boxes at game stores nowadays, but especially uncommon to find several. Well, I would like the Last of Us one. After securing a couple of the sealed systems, an employee brought out an unseen collection of NES games. Wow. That looks amazing. We got a bundle there too somewhere in there. You do? What? Oh, shoot. Sure. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Hey. There it is. Oh, That's my actually, goodness. I believe, the rarest one he brought in to us. I would guess so. I won't see that again. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I know I'm gonna get these three. Should I get this out of the collection or no? I don't know. I, there might be more back there now. <laughs> Especially if there's Mega Man 5 in there. Mm -hmm. oh, it's got a little bit of label wear. You do have Mega Man 5 though. Wow. Well, oh, it looks nice though. Oh, wow. Decent. Pretty decent. It's so cool. Yeah, it is. So last year, this game was actually about 50 bucks. Oh! oh. Man. All right, well, I'll take it at fourteen ninety nine. Yeah. Do you have another copy of it? We have two. Okay, I'll take the other one. Well, we got a lot more than I expected to get at the first stop of the day. We're in the pursuit of Pokemon. Started with I think two hundred and sixty one dollars in the Poke Bank. I didn't find anything in there that I don't already have, so we're just going to be banking some more profits. This was a good score, forty three bucks. Everything on the inside is sealed. We saw one sold for one fifty. Here's the full pickup from the dish trader. Spent about eleven hundred bucks. Projected profit pretty easily $500. I also got a lot of bundlers that I'm not going to project any profit on, but getting this type of stuff Wii Sports, Mario Kart, Mario 2 and 3, I sell those with systems. 15 bucks a piece is a good deal. Some sealed games, pretty excited about Modern Warfare 2. This is a pretty early print, could be first print. So that's a great pickup for 40. This is a good pickup for 35 sealed. Uh, Mario All Stars and Mario World for 25, can't go wrong with that. These printed cases were beautiful. $10 for Team NT2 is a good deal. Kind of probably overpay for Mega Man 6 at 55, but then Mega Man 1. Love these cases, they're so awesome. Couple GBA games, Jurassic Park Complete for five was a great deal. War in the North, all these guides, seriously great deals at five bucks on most of them. Some of the hardcovers are brand new and those will pan out really well. The Resident Evil Director's Cut was a good store. Donkey Kong Bongos for 10. These PS3s are brand new, never opened. No real comps on those, but I think they're gonna go pretty well. So 200 bucks a piece. They're the 500 gigabyte super slims. I think it's really gonna pan out well, but there's a lot to be determined. Make about 40 or 50 bucks on this guide, even though it was $90 buy cost. Still goes for quite a bit in new condition. All in all, a great, Great pickup from Disc Traders. I haven't been there in over a year. Looks like I should make more frequent stops because this was a great one. So we've had success at Disc Traders. I now have $761 in the Pokebank, which is enough to do some damage. So I'm hoping we find something special. Sitting at a pawn shop right now. We're gonna hit this up and then after this, we're gonna go check out one of the local comic shops. See yep. if there's anything to find. Let's do it. It's been quite a while since I've been to this pawn shop, but I do know that they like making bundles and selling stuff that way, which usually works out very well in my favor. Good old PS5, the best graphics on the market. <laughs> <laughs> well, we did end up getting some games over here, so the systems are like 100 bucks for the Game Boys, you know, 80 for a Wii, a little bit high. Um, but then they told Seth, uh, what, what was the Wii thing? <laughs> Break it down for me. So so uh, he said, you make a great deal on the Wii games. And I said, okay, well, how much? And he said, well, depends on how much you buy. And I said, well, if I get like five games, he said $3. But if you get 10 games, I'll do $2. And he said, but if you get 20, I'll do a dollar a piece. Well, <laughs> do the math on that. You just go ahead and get the 20 10, because get free. <laughs> you, get, you get 10 for free. I love that. So I ended up buying He's like, don't take the math on that. Just, <laughs> just do it. And then I was like, well, how about 360? And they said, $2 each if you get 20. So I picked up 20 of those. 
including I know of at least one that was worth over that. So good deals on the games. The systems, most people would have walked out after here. The Game Boys were 100 bucks, but sometimes you just gotta find out what the thing is that they can sell for cheap. That's it, they're trying to move games, so we said we'll take we'll games. We'll take the games, games, games right there. Pawn Shop was a massive success. So Seth walked out with a great stack of Wii games, probably about 80 bucks in profit. I spent $55 and this stuff will easily be worth 155 net for a clean hundred in profit. The score, so $2 a piece if I got 20 360 games was the deal. All their systems were overpriced. They weren't budging on those. Seth found that they were doing a dollar on Wii games if he got 20. So we made a play on these. All sports, football 2K8, great sports game lister. That's in the discord. Uh, and then another sports game lister is Madden 17. The Last Madden on 360. This is a good one. Cabela's Hunting Expeditions, Naruto, Battle for Bikini Bottom, plus this entire stack back here. I just tried to pick out all of the better ones. And then Mario Party Advance Tomb Raider got these three for 10. So 55 total, $100 in profit from that pawn shop. So we went into a local shop called Rocket Comics. The stuff that they have blows me away. The vast amount of amazing inventory is mind blowing. All right, so inside of Rocket Comics Portage, Michigan. Kalamazoo, thank you. Very close to Portage. Um, insane inventory here. Like there's a $1,500 Last 17 Luke figure. You've got $1,000 Skeletor, just stuff you don't see anywhere else. 2,500 on this one. If you come here, you're gonna see it all. Cause they got everything from Star Wars to games, to comics, collectibles, anything that nerds like, it's here. Lane's calling me over. Oh, those are cool. Dang. That's true. And then is, it, what, is this a different variant under Zelda? That's one on here. The classic series, yeah. Well, we might have to look those up, see if there's some deals. There's a Charizard in that one. That might go well in the collection. Ooh, they got the Nintendo Zelda watch. There's a red. red. 75, though. A little steep. <laughs> For my purposes, that's nice. Yeah. Alright, sports game list right here. You ready? Two. Yeah, oh, nice. 7 dollars that'll work. We'll pop up a screenshot of that bad boy. Ooh. Could be a decent deal at 20 bucks. Spider-Man 3. 10 bucks, that's gotta be a good deal. Well, we might have some winners here. Definitely this one. Sports game list. On Discord, a sports game list in there. You see them everywhere. Nice to know which ones are worth money. This is one of them. Ah, that's not anymore. So I'm just impressed. Like, look at the Star Wars box section. Just endless flow of stuff. And I did find some good games. So this is what we're gonna pop on. Ten bucks for Spider-Man Three, Pack Redemption for twenty, All Sports Football Two K Eight, and Alice Madness Returns. It's endless, man. Seth, what are you picking up? Yeah, I got a. Uh, Independence Day on Sega Saturn and a Ultimate Codes for PlayStation 2. A couple of decent little finds and uh, man, there's so much to look at here. My whole childhood is in this store. <laughs> Teenage yeah, Mutant Ninja Turtles, G1 Transformers over there, Mask, uh, you name it, they got it. Yeah. If you guys are in the area, you gotta come, but also let us know if there's anything that you're like, oh, you should have picked that up. At all. <laughs> this, is, this is fun. All right, so you got a pretty big Charizard in here, the dark Charizard. Do you have room on that? It's got 900 on it. Uh, 900? Last sold on bid was 670. The BGS9 one. You want to match that on price? If you want to do 670, I'll do that. You do that? Mm -hmm. You're only you crazy if you like to pay $900 for a car. <laughs> <laughs> I want to pay 900 I want to pay 670 I got a $30,000 <laughs> car, too. Pokemon? I got two. I'm going to carry one. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, here we go. We got a nine five and this one. You got a nine five and that. Mm -hmm. The nine five is not in the building. By my understanding, my guy told me there can be between four 
to come with you guys? So we had already sealed a deal on the games. We just needed to work something out in this card. I knew I had to have it, but it was priced way above eBay comps. So you had it priced at $900. Card market has softened up a little bit likely since they priced this item. So I just asked him, you know, would you match eBay sold comps on this card? And he was absolutely thrilled and happy to do that. So he just said, you just gotta show me. So I looked up sold listings on eBay, found the most recent sold on this card for $678. And we came to a deal from $900 down to 678 got it for more of market price this is a beautiful beautiful card in amazing condition it's a bgs 9 good solid subgrades a strong nine first edition dart charizard and i cannot believe i got to add it to the collection for a really good price i'm thrilled i think long term it's going to be a great piece to have all right so seth is rocking the discord exclusive Baby blue, games, games, games shirt. I love the colors, the color wave on that. So Seth, I gotta ask, what are your honest thoughts on our reselling Discord, the Caterpie crew? Well, first of all, I'll say this. This t-shirt is lucky. Uh, we <laughs> had amazing finds while I wore this shirt. So if for no other reason, whatever the shirt costs for the luck alone, <laughs> you need to buy one. I love but, it. But uh, my thoughts on the Discord are, it's amazing. Uh, whether you're starting out or you're a veteran seller, the amount of information is incredible on top of that the community just to support you because people That's are huge. rooting yeah it's just so huge people rooting you on yeah i mean we have people that look up stuff for other people yeah. uh just the the it will save you money just to be in the discord because we've got people who do worth point people who do therapy people who uh know stuff about amazon people who know stuff about ebay people mm -hmm. who know stuff about whatnot people who know stuff about tcg what's the card selling is yeah that tcg right? player TCG player my gosh the amount of information yeah. is crazy and on top of that if that wasn't enough uh i secured an incredible deal because of the discord i'm just telling you it's worth every penny uh, if you are thinking about it stop thinking about it do it try it for yourself <laughs> because uh man the community alone to help you to do uh and to achieve your goals is incredible last year was my best year on ebay ever and i could not have done that without the discord that's awesome well thanks man canopy crew if you're willing to put in the work, we'd love to have you.